Hi, Glory here, the Comforter Storyteller, and you're welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Today is day 12 of my Vlogmas, and you're very welcome. Yeah, so I'm on a journey to upload every day in December, and today is the 12th day. I kind of missed out on the 10 and 11 and I think the 8 actually because my app one of my apps that I use for editing my um, stuff was malfunctioning I tried and tried and tried so I later found out that it's probably because I don't have much space on my phone I'm hoping for a new phone with a larger you know space in 2024 so I realized that it's because I did not have so much space on my phone so the app kept malfunction even though i had space but i guess it wasn't enough right so um today's day 12 i'm sorry for the days that i missed out and i apologize i'm uploading right now one of the um videos that was really lying in my draft that i was uploading before i encountered a difficulty so you should watch that one day another one will be um premiere tonight by six our normal time so welcome to day 12 today we are doing a very very interesting throwback and i also want to hear from you about very important things so um today we will be looking into journaling um so i know that many times on this channel i've talked about journaling how important it is to me particularly even before it became a thing right i always loved to write write out my experiences write out my journey in because i don't know even before way before i knew that i was going to study history i think i just loved to write as early as gs3 i had a diary right at that time it wasn't called a journal i used to keep a diary like a daily um diary kind of um right so um so my question is that do you when you keep your journals like for me now i have my journal from years like five years back like every month of that particular year i have 2019 i have 2020 i have 2021 i have 2022 i have 2018 i have 2017 a bit of it i have 2016 because i moved houses and at that point i was staying with somebody and while they were moving to their new house they carried my stuff with them so I wasn't able to get it back so i missed out on 2016 even though i'm still praying that whenever i see them and i ask they will see they still have it i'll be like oh my god right so i have those journals and what do you do what do you do with your old journals for me i always go back to them right so i may choose to go back to 2019 today i just look through from january to february to march all through the year right i go back to them and why I'm, i choose to talk about this in my video today was because in church on sunday my pastor hit on a very very important matter and it just gave me a feeling of the past i remembered how much i can resonate i can relate to what, what he was saying so the basic of you can listen to the message online um the basic of what he was saying was how sometimes we go through painful situations and from that painful situation god wants to build something important god wants to build something new but many times we are overwhelmed in that pain we choose to share it with others first and then we allow the essence of that pain to dissipate now he is not saying that god you know places us in pains deliberately no but sometimes when we go through you know circumstances of life like jesus said that in this world we'll have tribulations when we go through those circumstances the intention of god is that he wants to birth something out of that painful situation he doesn't want us to waste that pain so my pastor was talking about us trading that pain that when we are at our deepest moment we should come into the presence of god and exchange that pain that we are feeling or exchange that um um weakness or for strength right it, it was a robust message and it truly blessed me and then it made me to remember how 2015 was for me now bringing me back to journaling how now it, it's like whenever i remember 2015 i give glory to god because like i always tell people the dealings of god over your life are always mostly understood in retrospect like when you look back when you're in the middle of that stuff you will not be able to relate or understand yes and like this song new wine said that i trust you even when i don't understand right in the middle of that challenge that affliction you might not understand but as you step out of that season you will not realize why god took you through that place if sometimes you feel like ah, i should have responded better so you have learned from that particular situation and so in subsequent situations or in subsequent painful situations you know how best to respond you know how to now respond to your pain to to learn what you need to learn from it and to ensure that you are graceful regardless of what you're going through so with what pastor said it just kept 
resonating like it just kept um coming back to me and then i remember the year 2015 um i've shared how my, I, I lost my mom on this channel um so i remember the year 2015 and my mom died that was the same year that i was to go for nyc and my mom died in march and nyc our call up later um for nyc was to come out in april so when i got the call up later it was to acquire bomb state and i was like what like because everybody wanted me to stay in Korea at that time because of the, um everything that had happened now like it wasn't wise to be going to a long distance but i mean i eventually left broken heartbroken like tired big angry at a lot of things i went to the service here and i wanted to be on my own like literally but um right my fellowship had already communicated to them that somebody was coming and so i had to join the fellowship even though i said that i wasn't going to do anything like i was just going to join i wasn't going to be a part of anything when i got there i was on my own the gc would try to talk to me i won't talk to anybody everybody was trying to be close i wasn't i wasn't in the mood like i just lost my mom it was a really painful season for me but then in that painful season my service year 2015 is one of my best years ever as in despite the pain regardless of the pain right because that was the year i i understood intimacy with the holy spirit so basically i was alone so i would be in my room all the time i was staying in the lodge with another sister and she would always complain that i'm always indoors every time i don't talk to people it was my year of sealing in like I, I, the holy spirit sealed me in like he used that pain to teach me what it means to be intimate with him i would pray i would cry i would i was dealing with a lot at that time and i would just bring all the baggage like all the baggage into god's presence and it will give me this peace that nobody else can give i had i had so much joy in the holy ghost i had so much intimacy with the spirit of god it was so deep that i i now understood good when when bible said that i'll give beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness it was like an exchange happened bringing me back to the message that my pastor preached and what i want to share with you particularly today that year turned out regardless of how um, bad it started like my mom's death and how broken i was it turned out to be one of the best years of my life like i, I experienced god i experienced intimacy with the spirit of god like him talking back at me me hearing him me relating with him only closer on a deeper level it, it was the first time i would minister and you know i would see god's hand literally and i'm like oh my god and then it now brought me back to the scripture that says that when you are weak he said and he said to me that his grace is sufficient for me his strength is made perfect in my weakness paul the apostle now said something he said therefore will i now glory in my infirmities for when i am weak then am i strong like it's it's a mystery it's something that you you know it by experience like you would you will now be like when pains come when challenges come of course you are not the one causing it or doing it but you you know like you have an assurance that from this pain i would blossom forth as as a beautiful plant like i, I would try regardless like it gave me such height of confidence if i could go through 2015 without without breaking down without becoming something else i know that there's nothing life throws at me that i will not be able to go through it i'm encouraging you today to trade your pain i don't know how 2023 has been for you like on a personal level for me it's been a journey an adventure you know from here to here to here and i always look forward to every new year because i know that it's a fresh adventure it's a fresh beginning it's a fresh um journey with god but regardless of how 2023 has been how your you so much pain you're about to endure i want to encourage you to treat that pain you know the song that says treat these ashes in for beauty we have forgiveness like, like a crown come to the foot of the cross and exchange it sincerely it would give you things that it would give you his strength people will look at you and be like uh -uh, this is not the person that we thought was going to go down with this particular challenge and you are rising you are not just surviving you are thriving despite that thing that you have gone through i want to encourage you i want and i want to i want to spoil you up to a to a um, better attitude when it comes to painful seasons or painful situations or tribulations or, or circumstances that are not totally favorable i want to encourage you that your attitude in that circumstances also matters you have this assurance like the three hebrew children that god be, is able to bring you out and even if he doesn't bring us out we know that he's still god and he is using that situation for our good like i always tell people that god might not orchestrate that evil situation he doesn't do evil so but he, he has the power to work incredible good from that situation so i want to encourage you whatever challenge situation you're going through trade it 
give it over to god i wrote something on my blog some years back i think i will share the link to the blog or if i can attach a screenshot you will see that i, I talked about the pain trade how i traded my pain for more of god right for more power for more intimacy for knowledge of the spirit and it was at that tough moment that that hard moment that painful moment that god showed up it was like literally i had encounters that made me know that i was loved by god like i brought my pain to the altar and i exchanged it and so when pastor was preaching on sunday and he was talking about exchanging your pain it was like my head was like jesus jesus did this man reach i was coming back home and i was telling my 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 sister that it's like pastor read my journals like i mean like it was it was my head was expanding and i was grateful to god that he granted me wisdom and so i'm sharing with you that you need this wisdom when you face your challenges so that you can come out not only come out victorious but come out with a lesson come out with a benefit a gain despite the pain i trust that god has blessed you through this i do not want to make it longer i'll see you on day 13 and on another video god bless you and do well to share this with your friends and leave a comment and like thank you so much bye bye